So being able to write really good email copy and turn email subscribers into customers is probably one of the highest value skills you can have online. Now I have hired a ton of email copywriters over the years. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you six tips that you can implement in your email copy that is going to make your email convert better. These are the same tips that I tell all of the copywriters that we're working with when any of them are coming to write for any of the lists that we manage. The first tip is to write like you talk. This is the most stupid, simple tip, but I have to give this constantly. You don't want to be clever. You want to be clear and you don't want to use words that you wouldn't be saying if you were sitting at a bar talking to a friend. As the copywriter, you need to figure out what is the voice of the person that you are writing as, and then you need to be able to convey how they talk into words. The second tip is to think in months and not just think about the next email. So it's really easy to just hammer your email list with like, buy my stuff, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. But then what happens is no one wants to open your emails anymore. So what we need to do is we need to develop a relationship with that email list over time. And the way that we do that is by using what we call the 70-30 rule. So what the 70-30 rule means is that with all of our emails that we send out, we want 70% to be valuable content. We want the other 30% to be pitch. That means in a month, if we send out four emails, three of those are going to be mostly valuable content. And one of those is just going to be a super direct pitch to work with us. That also means if we send out one email, 70% of that is going to be a valuable email. It's going to be a story or an educational piece or something that we can learn to give value to the reader. And then at the very bottom, there's going to be a pitch about what they can do if they want to move forward. So we can write valuable emails about all kinds of stuff. We can tell them stories. We can show them what's going on with other students and show their student success stories. We can tell them the common mistakes people make. We can break down common myths in the marketplace. We can tell them how to recognize bad information. We can tell them about new things that are coming up that they need to be aware of. We can help them understand new skills that they should be developing. We can understand, help them do all kinds of stuff in those valuable emails. And then at the end of the email, make an offer, you know, put something in the PS line or at the bottom. Hey, if you found this really valuable and you're ready for the next step, here's what you should do next. Click this link, reply to this email, whatever that is. The third tip is to write like you are writing to someone in the sixth grade. So the reality is complicated copy just doesn't get read. Unless you are writing for like PhD audiences, people like to read simple things. If it's too complicated, they will just stop reading it. Now the solution is super simple. You just write your email, then you go to the Hemingway app, you copy and paste your email in there, and anything that you see is read, you just need to chop it up and make it easy to read. It will tell you what the grade level is of your content. And you just wanna get that to below a sixth grade level. If you put your copy in Hemingway and it says that your senses are too long, your words are too big, just dumb it down, make it easier so that people can just consume it. Understand, most people are just gonna skim. They're not gonna read every word of every email. So you wanna make it so that it's easy to consume. Number four, and this is a huge one, especially if you are selling like high ticket info product courses, anything like that, focus on the outcome. The reality is nobody wants your program. Nobody wants to buy your course. No one wants to go through your cohort. Nobody wants to do any of that. They want the outcome that comes at the end of that program. If they could skip everything that you offer and just get the outcome, that's exactly what they would do. So keep that in mind when you are writing your copy. What does that mean? That means if you're writing an email and you're making a direct offer and you're saying, hey, now is the time to join us. We want you to book a call and join our high ticket program. Don't go telling them everything that's inside the program that they get when they buy. Tell them everything they are going to get when they go through the program and they are done and they've gotten the outcome that you are providing them. You want to be selling on outcomes. Don't sell exactly what's inside your program. Tell them the outcome you are going to get them and tell them what unique mechanism or thing that you have inside of your program that is going to guarantee that they get that thing. That's what you want to be focusing on. Your course, your high ticket program, program, your whatever is just a delivery vehicle to get them to that outcome. And that is what you need to be focused on in all of your copy. The fifth thing here, don't write to broke people. So whether you are writing for your own list or you're writing for clients, the reality is like broke customers don't spend a lot of money. They're usually not the best customers in the world. And so just as you are writing, the analogies you are making, the metaphors you are using, the type of people you are talking to, you want to talk to good customers. You wanna focus on the stresses, the problems, the outcomes, the time shortages, the complexity that comes with being a person who has money and is trying to solve problems, being someone who is a seeker in life, who is trying to get to the next level, right? Whether you are in, in, you know, like biz op stuff, whether you are in health, whether you are dealing with personal development, relationships, whatever it is, the type of person you talk to and the analogies you use is going to attract those type of people. So if you will talk to people that have higher level problems, who have higher level desires, who are striving for better things in life, those are the people you will attract. If you are using analogies like, hey, 
the, are the tumbleweeds in your bank account, you know, then like that's who you're going to attract. So don't write to broke people, write to people who have money, who are seekers in life and who are going after what you want. And that's how you're going to attract a higher level of customer. And the very last one here is don't ramble. So Mark Twain once said, I didn't have time to write you a short letter. So I wrote you a long one, right? That's how it goes. It's easy to put a ton of words in an email. It is harder to write a short, succinct email that makes the same point. So how long does your email need to be? As long as it needs to be. I'm not telling you, you can't write a long email. What I'm telling you is that most of the time when writers write emails, you can usually take a step back, wait a few hours, come back the next day, come edit it down and you can cut a lot of it out. Like if it doesn't add to the main point of the email, get rid of it. Like we don't need fluffy emails. We need really short, succinct, powerful emails. Most of the time we say too much when it would be better to just say less. Can it be a long email? Of course, if it needs to be, but can it be a shorter email? Probably. So that is all I got. If you are writing email copy for yourself, for your clients, whatever that is, and you will apply these six tips that will help you write better emails. And then people will want to open your emails. People will want to have a relationship with you and people will want to buy from you, which again, your email list is the most valuable asset you have in your business. So you want to treat that really well. Now, if you want to get the full breakdown for the exact strategy that we use in all the lists that we manage, go ahead and click on this video right here. Cause I'll actually just break down for you our entire email marketing strategy. So check out this video right here and I'll see you over there.